let's go ahead and activate this pull station right here which is right by the panel so if you have epilepsy do not watch and also do not pull any public fire alarms in a building unless there is an actual emergency so let's go ahead and pull it in three two one So that's how you that's how you silence the alarm. So the way you have to silence the alarm is you have to disconnect the zone that was activated so that way you can shut the alarms off. So go ahead and reset it. And there you go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set zone two, three, four, and five on lock test. So we're gonna go ahead and Put zone two on walk test, and the panel's gonna beep. You can, I can only uh, sound sounder, but I'm not going to. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and activate the simplex 425120. So here we go. That's weird. Hmm. I wasn't expecting the alarms to still sound after the panel was put to walk test. It's kind of strange. Let's go ahead and activate the ESL pull station. And since this is connected to zone three, I have the I have zone three on walk test. So let's see if this will work. Oh, it does work. Look at that. That's strange. I guess it kind of takes a while. Now we're going to magnet test the ESL detector. I think I found the spot. All right. So let's go to the next zone. I forgot. I just realized I have not tested the system sensor I3 yet on zone two. So we're gonna go ahead and activate it. I'm gonna go right here so you guys can see the LED. Any second now. Well, there was the problem. So I have zone two, three, four, and five on walk test this time. So we're gonna go ahead and try again with the okay. I3. Same deal. You just stick the screwdriver inside the little hole and. There we go. The panel self reset. So let's go ahead and head over to zone four. Here's the other system sensor I3, which is connected to zone four. Let me see something. A few moments later. It says that it's an alarm, but nothing is sounding. And what if I reset it? Hmm. That's strange. It is on walk test, so 
I guess I'll give that another go. Okay, take two with this instant sensor i3. Hmm, it's still not going off. Huh, the alarm's still not going off. That's strange. We'll go ahead and test the Notifier MBD-12L under the stopper, so this is going to be quite annoying. So let me just pull out the right key. Uh, wait, that's not the right key. This is the right key. Okay, so I disabled walk test on zone 4, so I'm just going to act it to detect it normally. Oh, nothing at all? Hmm. That's strange. Maybe I gotta give it a second. I'm wondering if it's on alarm verification. Yep, here we go. Huh, just shut off. What do you know on walk test? That's strange. Let's activate this uh, 270SPL, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and flick the switch. Panel's acting funny and stuff with zone 4 and zone 5. I'm gonna do zone 4 one more try and see if it'll work. I shut the stopper just so that the center wasn't as annoying. Or so the stopper wouldn't be as annoying. Hmm. I know the panel says it's an alarm, so... Maybe I gotta give it a second. So I got nothing. that up. Hmm. It says zone 4 activated, so... That's very strange. What if I put on normal? Okay. Well, that'll be it for System Test 1. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more of this system. But uh, anyway, guys, that'll be it. And thank you all for watching, and see you guys in another video.